platform is Lagos State's one chairman, Freddie Dury. Good to have you on this platform, sir. Yeah, my pleasure. And then, the um, general professional of football in 2013 season has been one of the greatest in the world. You know. I mean, uh, what are the positive things you have noticed uh, this season? I think most importantly, we have the fans coming back um, all, all across the country. There are some um, big centers, fans coming back in large numbers. Uh, we have stories, fantastic stories uh, from, from the Badon, Akure, Wari, Enugu, Kanu, of course, they've been there, uh, Aba, they've been there. Fantastic you know, turnout uh, of the fans. Again, um, there's been a lot more confidence for the teams to go away and play their game. Uh, before now, Sometimes people feel but playing away you already lost the game. But we have a situation where now everybody sees the field the field as even and if you have a good team you can expect to go away. Pick a draw, get a win, um, the referees are doing good, um, the, the regulation is so so fine now. Everybody's playing with a lot of confidence and public interest in the league has also increased. A lot of people who otherwise weren't um, really too keen on the Nigerian league. I need to see that there is something fantastic happening there. And, and so a lot of interest has been generated, both at the corporate level, both at the public level. And we think that we're going to have a you know, bigger season. Um, well, well, after this season, we're going to have a bigger season because of interest and if we can sustain it. Uh, on the low points, again, we, we saw a situation where it looks like the clubs um, have really not been able to appreciate the, the gospel of having them do things right, raise their revenue profile, so that they do not have to be too dependent on government, you know. And we saw a situation where, from club to club, we, we saw players complain about non-payment of salaries. We saw players going on strike. We saw the LNC try consistently to make the club management understand the need for them to begin to develop various revenue streams that can support the funding of the team. That has not been properly done, and I think that the players have suffered a lot. Um, many of them have protested you know, from place to place and all that. I think that's not very good for the league because, again, it's a story that kind of diminishes the interest that has been generated. Yeah, yeah, we can say good job from the league management company. But um, your heart advice on how we can improve you know, the standard of the league message because it is key that for us to improve from what we have this year. First of all is consistency from the part of the league management company. They've been doing well, they just need to sustain it. Um, at a point there were some decisions that looked as if they intended to do, um, you know, maintain some standard. It appeared that they wanted to lower the standard because they found out maybe one or two teams were in difficulty. I, I see the league management wanting to do the right thing but also not wanting to destabilize the system because by the time you apply some very strong sanctions and you find out that a number of clubs are not able to meet up with certain standards, I see the league management committee trying to adjust themselves as by the rules and how to apply the rules and so on. That may be good, again, because um, like we say, you cannot say it because you're going to save your father, then you bring your mother down uh, or vice versa. So they try to balance the situation, but they have to be consistent in, you know, always letting the, the clubs know that this is the direction we are going, you know, in terms of, you know, you have to the, the field has to be even, um, fans have to be behaved, officials have to be behaved, there should be no intimidation for visiting or away teams and all that. The financial regulations have to be applied strictly, you know, because at the end of the day, we are talking about players and their career. Yeah. Some people are doctors, some people are players, some people are lawyers, some people are teachers and all that. This is their job. And so if you work, you must get your pay. I think that the clubs need to understand that. For them to achieve that, both the club management and the state governments that finances them ought to understand that we need to run Nigerian clubs the way they have been run overseas. Um, I mean, in other, in other leagues. We need to develop the revenue streams. We cannot just rely on a mono system of wanting funds from government, and when government is not forthcoming, the club is not able to function. Yeah. We really need to do this. That is, is, is possible because the corporate community is interested, the corporate community is seeing the improvement in the league, the public is seeing the improvement, they are attracted, they are interested, and they are turning up. So why can't we develop these revenue streams? I think we can. Okay, yeah, lastly from Hoss, yeah, is um, Nigerian teams on the continent, you know, have its growth in the previous season. Now, I think from the standard of legacy, we should, you know, 
we go through. And what one or two advice you can give our club side for us to have a very great performance? Organization, organization again, you know, organization and management. You play in the local league, all right, but going to the continent, you need a little more input. We've seen situations where um, some clubs get told they are, you know, playing destination, maybe. Um, just eight hours to, just two hours to, just three hours to. Some, uh, even, you know, messed up, sorry to use that word, yeah. they are traveling arrangement. Mm, they yeah. get to, to, to the venue and they already mm. walked over. I mean, mm. you're traveling from Nigeria to a distant country and you get there, you do not bother to get there on time and then you get there, you find out that you walked over. So what were you doing? What was that management about? If we're going to play in the continent, we must be prepared to play in the continent. Mm. We should know the finances, financial requirement involved in playing the continent, we should know the traveling arrangements required, we should know all the official on you know processes that are required for us to be there when we need to be there. But again, you must build the confidence of the players. I mean you need to pay them, they need to be in good spirit, they need to be in good form. We're playing good football in Nigeria. All it takes is for the players to be on top spirit. Of course, um, there is no doubt in the fact that we still need to work on our coaches to continue to improve on their technical and you know tactical capacity. It's, it's an ongoing process. I mean, there is no coach that you say has it all. Yeah. So they just keep improving, and then the clubs and the players will keep doing well. Okay, um, let's do you know, some pre award. Uh, pre award here now, right now. I mean, your best goalkeeper for the season. <laughs> I want to take. Uh, not in terms of goals considered, but I, I think I, I like I like uh, is it is it more, it, Kichuku, Kichuku, is Kichuku, uh, from Sunshine Stars. Yeah. I, I think I think I like the goalkeeper, and I'm also justified because he's been got he's got call up to the national team. I think I like his keeping. He gives the players confidence. He's very alert. He's very matured. He's very composed, and I think he works with the team. Okay, now what about the best defender for the team? Best defender for the season. Somehow I like uh, Ojo Mine, Ojo Mine of uh, uh, Warriors. Yeah, I think that um, he's aggressive, not to the point of committing fouls, but you know he's 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 so determined for his team to win, and he goes to disrupt any move you know that he sees that it's going to be dangerous you know, okay. against them. Okay, best midfielder. Midfielders, I I like um, is it uh, Rabu? Um, Kano Pillars. Kano Pillars. Rabi Ali. Yeah, I like Ali. I also like um, the young black called Easy. I think in Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. Still Yeah, I think I think I like I, I think I like them. They really, they may not have. I mean, Rabi Ali is established. Yeah. Easy is. Upcoming, so yeah. to speak, but I think I like his flair. Okay, best forward. Best forward. I I like salami. <laughs> I like uh, if you say best now, but please just give me some room. Yeah. I, I like salami. I like um, agri. Yeah. I like agri of sunshine yeah. stars. Yeah. I think yeah. I think um, he's very dynamic. Yeah. Um, I also. Like uh, Chikatara. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, um, this should be the final one. Your best manager. This should be one person. Your best manager for the season. I do not know what really happened. Um, you know how Sunshine Stars got yeah. themselves, mm -hmm. you know, out of Akure mm -hmm. and came to Lagos. But I think that the, the fastest growing team. You know, the best organized team that yeah. was able to relate not just with the team but with the community, yeah. you know, and was producing successes yeah. as it were, was Sunshine Stars. Okay. So I give it to the, uh, to the manager of Sunshine Stars. Thank you for joining us on the platform.